Hi everybody, it's Patty, and I wanted to share with you um, some flowers that I ordered from Wild Orchid Crafts, and um, you can look them up online at wildorchidcraft.com. Um, they're based in England, and I was ordering my flowers for I am Roses from I am Roses, but it was taking a month for them to get here. You guys, this only took a week for me to get all this and their prices are better um I got 50 flowers for the price that I paid for 25 actually it was cheaper than what I paid at I am roses um for 25 flowers I got 50 for that price and these are oh I had my list here these are the Ivory Mulberry Paper Open Roses. And there's 50 of them, and they're 20 millimeter. I'm not going to see. They're so pretty. Okay, and then I got 50 of these, of the smaller ones. And these are the 10 millimeter. And these are the white open roses. And here's the other pack. I'm going to pack of them. And let's see. And then um, I got a hundred of the rose buds. And these are four millimeter. And I think they were only like three dollars or something for this or two fifty. They're, oh my gosh, the prices are amazing. I love this place. I love it. Um, these are Okay, these are the um, 25 millimeter tea roses in the white. And then these are the wild roses. If you can see them, aren't they pretty? And I have 25 of those. And then I got 50 of the green paper leaves. And 50 of the two tone pink and green leaves. And I ordered these crystal stems. And I think I'm going to have to find something. I'll pick one out to show you. They're actually really super cool. Can you see that? There. It's. They're so pretty. And they come in different colors. I just bought the one, the clear, because I figured I'd probably use it more. But now I think I'm going to have to go back and order a whole bunch more of these because they had like red and burgundy and brown and yellow and pink. And they have the gold, the silver. Um, these are going to be amazing on a project. Can't wait to use those. And then because I placed an order, they sent me these beautiful poinsettia flowers. They're so pretty. I love them. So, I'm totally, totally in love with wildorchidcraft.com. You guys have to go check them out. They also have colored, I mean, I didn't buy the color because I color my own, but now I'm thinking I want to go buy the color flowers. Um, they also have, they have different flowers. They don't just have roses, um, I believe. They also have the flat flowers. Um... I think they're hydrangeas and uh, just, oh, oh my gosh, you got to check out the website and see this. Okay, so I did a video earlier and showed you uh, a different way of doing the faux metal technique. And I thought I would show you a flower that I made with this technique. And this is with the Tim Holtz um, die cut, the Tattered Florals die cut is what I cut out. And I used, I did the technique right on the flower itself. And I did a red, I painted it with the red, the metallic red color, and then I went over it with some gold and a little bit of black um, of my metallic rubs. So, I don't know if you can, I can't tell if you can see that, but it's very metallic-y. And I thought I would share that, you know, that technique is not just for you know, you, the frames that I did. I mean, you could do this to anything. See, there's the frame that I did. Um, you could use this technique on anything. 
and it makes uh, and you could even do away with the red and go completely metal it'd be cool I just was trying something different so I just wanted to get this quick video out to you and share my little haul from um, Wild Orchid Crafts um, like I said before, I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving, and I will be back soon. I have a huge tutorial, and it's going to be broken up into parts because it's, like, enormous. And you guys are going to love it. So, um, I'll be back soon. Bye.